Hello everyone, my name is Kirsten and I'm a fieldwork student at the American Stroke Foundation. Today I will be discussing spasticity. What is spasticity? Spasticity causes an increase in muscle tone and activity. This often leads to stiff and tight muscles and can even cause involuntary contractions to occur in the muscles whenever the arms or legs are moved. Spasticity can involve one muscle or a group of muscles causing mild to severe symptoms. The brain sends signals to the muscles to control the level of muscle tone to move limbs in a typical pattern. After a stroke though, these signals can get damaged, which causes the muscles to become too active, causing an increase in tone, stiffness, and involuntary movement. This is a common occurrence post-stroke as 30% of survivors of stroke will experience spasticity. Spasticity may look different from person to person. Some common signs of spasticity include stiffness, muscle spasms, overactive reflexes, or clonus, which is uncontrollable rhythmic shaking movements. Spasticity may also cause changes in posture, pain, and eventually contracture. A contracture is when the joint loses its ability to move and is left in a fixed position. Some specific examples of what a contracture may look like include a clenched fist, a bent elbow, a stiff knee, or a pointed foot. When spasticity affects the muscles of the legs, your balance and risk of falling will increase. You could also become more fatigued or tired, making it harder for you to move. Lastly, Spasticity could affect your ability to perform many of your everyday activities. Some ways to possibly prevent spasticity and eventually contractures are to continuously move throughout the day. This includes moving your position often, going for short walks, or moving from sitting to standing more often. It's important to exercise regularly because spasticity often gets worse when your muscles get weaker. Stretching is also important and helps you maintain a full range of motion and the ability to move your body how you'd like to. When stretching, you should use slow, controlled movements and hold the stretch for a few seconds at a time. If you are concerned about spasticity, then it is important to seek medical attention. There are many treatment options available, such as assistive devices, such as braces, canes, walkers, and wheelchairs. There's even medication that can be described that can relax the nerves and therefore the muscles. There's also injections such as Botox that can be used that also block the nerves that cause overactive muscle actions to occur. Lastly, surgery can be used to prevent spasticity by lengthening or releasing muscles that are too tight. When you are living with spasticity, there are some home modifications that you can do that will make your ability to do your daily activities easier. Some of these home modifications include ramps rather than using the stairs, using grab bars, especially when getting in and out of bed or within the bathroom, and using a raised toilet seat that makes moving on and off the toilet easier. You could also use a shower or tub bench when bathing, which can help reduce fatigue in the shower and to prevent falls. Non-slip surfaces can also be used. You can place them under rugs and carpets, or you can use adhesive strips at the bottom of the tub, which could be helpful as well. Thank you for listening to my presentation about spasticity. Here are the resources that I used for this presentation and the ones that I'd recommend looking into if you are concerned about your spasticity.